caught the memo about our band yet, and it's kind of a hard memo to miss, it's alright if, if you didn't catch it. We're all really queer in this band. Actually, everyone in this band is queer. I'm, I'm openly non-binary, I'm also a garbage fire. It's a lot of things. And one thing that we always want to say at all of our shows is that we want our shows to be a safe space for anyone in the LGBTQIA community. So if you're here, and you're queer, you definitely belong here tonight. Sounds good? And uh, if anyone has a problem with that, I'm, I'm happy to refund your money. Please get the fuck out of this show right now. Sounds good? We put out a record about two weeks ago called The Book of Broken Glass, and you know, this is it. Hey, fuck yeah! That's cool. um, and we were writing it last year when the world was crazy, and we were coming out of the pandemic, and we hadn't seen each other in a minute, and we hadn't toured or played a lot of shows because we really couldn't. And um, right as we were writing the record, my grandpa passed away. And he was the guy who raised me and encouraged me to come out of the closet and chase down the music. Go, Grandpa! Yeah, yeah, his name is John. Give it up to John. And then immediately after that, um, a man that I love very much uh, passed away unexpectedly as well. His name is Christian. And I never really got the chance to tell Christian that I loved him. Um, all those things kind of culminated into a really weird recording experience. You can imagine that. Um, and. The world was crazy then. It's even crazier now. There's a lot of people that want to propagate a narrative that our community is dangerous or antisocial or bad for the fabric of America, whatever the fuck that fabric is made of now. Um, but we all know that's bullshit, right? Because we're all in here enjoying music together tonight. Right? So here's the biggest takeaway I can give you if you come to one of our shows. You don't have to like our music, you don't have to buy our merch, but if, especially if you're a young queer person in the audience tonight. I know it can seem right now like it's really shitty to be in the middle of all this stuff, and a lot of people are going to tell you that you don't matter and that your voice isn't worthwhile. Can you make a promise to me tonight that you'll stick around, create stuff, and make the loudest voice you can for whatever you're passionate about? Can you do that? Yeah. So this is a song I wrote not only as a love letter to my grandpa and to Christian, but also to anyone here that's queer and might be feeling what I'm feeling right now. So it's called Sky on Fire. <laughs> 